Okay, welcome to SVU. We're not actually on the stage. Right now, I'm gonna take you on to what's known as stage A, okay? Now there's multiple stages on SVU. And if you notice, when you come in, you're actually looking at the back of these facades. So when you think we're upstairs in the building, we're not. And then you got these elevators here you see us get off on. Well, check this out. This elevator is just a room. It has no ceiling and it doesn't move. It just opens and closes. So, you know, when you see us come off the elevator, we haven't gone anywhere. Take care of yourself. So now, this is a new area. The set has changed for this season. This is like a little break area. Get the good stuff. Light, extra sweet. Thanks. Somebody's cowboy hat. I have no idea who wears that. Maybe Mariska wears that when she goes to the club. I don't know. It's another brick wall, some lockers. And this area right here is, and you guys already know, Ice-T does not eat any bagels or drink coffee. So now, this is a new area. This is what we call the conference room. And what goes on in the conference room, sometimes we'll sit here, we'll spitball, try to figure out, you know, what's going on with the case. A couple of TVs, a, a couch. But this is an area you'll see a lot of scenes shot in. Okay, now we're coming in. Now the squad room has been changed this year to where we have like this real box. You always see this desk sergeant right here stopping people. Counselor. Raphael Barba. Elliot Stabler. Manhattan Special Victims Unit. Then over here, you've got this other little staging area for people that come in. They're not arrested. They just want to talk. They got a case they want us to talk about. Because if you look up, this is what a sound stage looks like. It's light. It's all kinds of things. There's really no ceiling on this room. So the lights are hanging in midair. The magic of television. Okay, so you come over here. This is Kelly's desk. What's up? Ooh, nice shiner. Octavio, the new guy, his desk is right here. This is Finn's desk. Friday the 28th, I don't know where, but be there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now, people actually have time to look at my desk and decide what's on here. This is not my bulldog. I love bulldogs, I have bulldogs, but that's not my bulldog. This Malcolm X picture comes from uh, Belzer. Belzer used to have it on his desk and he handed that over to me when he left. It's a dope picture of Malcolm X. And this is my desk, so let's continue. You come down this hall, a lot of times you see people come through this door, like they came off the elevator and they come into this hall. This is the hall that leads into the interrogation room. Has your lawyer up? Oh, he doesn't seem to care. Don't keep me posted. Mr. Graham, Captain Benson. These windows pull up. And let's go into one of the interrogation rooms. Your wife bleeding out on the sidewalk? She's just another casualty. Detective Stabler, get out now. This is a cool thing I like. When you look at these walls, you look at them like they're brick, but they're not. They're like made out of some kind of styrofoam or something, or else I would have been a badass to be hitting brick like that, but it's not. And then out here, this is the outside New York City scape that never changes. When it's snowing, it just stays the same. In the summer, it just stays the same. It's a wonderful, it's kind of like really living in New York. It's called a city view, okay? And so down here, here's another interrogation room. And we have this little thing here where you can hook down the high power cats who might try to jump at us, but we rarely use that. And these are these mirrored windows that you're not supposed to know somebody's behind, but there's always somebody behind them, thing. And now, if you'll see, they don't have the mirror in here, but this looks right into Olivia Benson or Mariska's office as she's the captain. Let's go right through here. And you see her. I think that's when she became a sergeant. I didn't have a ceremony, but I'm still a sergeant by now. And this is the one and only Captain Olivia Benson's desk. You got a little chair here. Then there's a little a little seating room back here where she could do more like an informal interview with somebody. But while I'm here, let me sit in her desk. You know, 
get some of that captain vibe for ice. You know what I'm saying? Finn's the captain. And I sit here and I just bark off orders to people. This is the future. I see this, you know. Arishka will probably like go into some other level of police work. Like she'll be the, the captain of all police officers in the history of the world. And I'll sit here and I'll be captain and I'll just tell Kelly and them, go do some shit. Go catch some bad guys. Recanvas it. Check them out again. You haven't asked enough questions. I think they're lying. Increase the intensity of the interrogation. And that's it. So this is uh, Behind the Scenes with Ice-T, Law & Order SVU, and we should end on this. <laughs>